Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Hustle Garage channel. Welcome back to a new video. All right, so if you guys watched the last video, I did mention that I did get my last part for my exhaust. I finally got high flow cats and oh, it's gonna be so nice. So what are we doing today? As you can see, the car is on jack stands and it's time to work. So you might have guessed it. We are installing the high flow cats on the 370Z. All right, so I got the Nvidia high flow cats. I got them off a mate for a very good price. I haven't done a actual install in ages. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And also we always have Rady helping us out. Oh, all right, let's go to the shops and get these parts. Hey man. Hello. All right, so just finished at the shops and we got a whole bunch of stuff. I had to get a O2 sensor socket and then a whole bunch of goodies in this bag. I'll show you guys what I got. I got the O2 sensor socket. Hopefully that makes life a bit easier. And then I got a bunch of goodies. So I got, well, this is oh my these. God. Air freshener. And I got this little thing. Oh, I'm so excited. And look, it has. And it has a freaking wow. fighting tool, man. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. Some of extensions. Yeah, I'll probably start by doing the O2 sensors first. I'll take the O2 sensors out and then um, I'll take all the bolts off. I'm pretty sure they're 14 mil bolts. Um, the O2 sensor is a 22 mil socket thingy. Yeah, I'll try to show you guys everything that I can. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, should be fun. Let's go ahead and get under the car. This is a very nice angle here. Other O2 sensors, there's one here and one here, and you just have to disconnect this little harness thingy. This tab here, push that down, and then you pull this this way, and that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and get these O2 sensors out, and then we'll start on the bolts to the Y pipe, and then try and do the bolts up here. I'll try to sh show you guys a better angle of where the bolts are. You also have to take off this brace and then afterwards, just a demon bolt at the top. That should be it. It sounds very simple, but apparently it's not that simple. I've given myself like three days to do this. So yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, oh, let's go. I got both the oxygen sensors out. I'm so glad I didn't break anything. I'm so glad I didn't damage anything. I got both the um, O2 sensors out. That's both of them there. I used like this spanner and um, the O2 socket and like a ratchet. Rady said to use this as leverage and it worked. I was I was so scared because it was like bending so hard. That literally took what time is it now? 12.56. 12? 12.56. Almost Holy one. Jeez. <laughs> that literally almost took what 45 an hour? I'm glad I started this early because damn. What you want to do is make sure you take note of which one is the left one and which one is the right one because if you mix them up yeah it won't be good for you they're both labeled passenger side and driver side not sure what size they are I did say they were 14 mil they might be 14 mil I'm gonna go and unbolt the cats to the Y pipe just a little bit I'm just gonna break these loose um, where the cat goes to the Y pipe so gonna break them loose um, on both sides Apparently one bolt and two nuts that are on studs It's the same on this side that bolt right there that nut and then one down there as well What the demon bolt is 
I'll see if you can see it from here. Right there. That's where the demon bolt is. And, and you can't get to it from underneath. You have to go from the engine bay and then swivel your way all the way through and you should be able to get it. Now I'm expecting it to be a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna go and loosen and take off the bolts that I can from down here. I'm pretty sure it's still a 14 mil. All right, one bolt down, five to go. Even this bolt was a pain in the ass. I broke it open and I almost broke my arm. I had to scrape my arm on something. I don't know what it was, but freaking hurt. I just use this extension here to a uni joint to the 14 mil socket and it got me this bolt after another 40 minutes, I reckon. Excuse me for the angles, I'm literally laying on the floor under the car in very awkward positions, making it work. Oh yeah, I got it with a breaker bar as well. Um, half inch drive, everything. The next one, I'll go ahead and do the, the one on the other side. I got both of those bolts off. I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to go through this wheel well to get to the bolt at the bottom. Almost there, two bolts down, four to go. I wanna see how far I could get today. Oh yeah, also, if you guys haven't liked and subscribed, go ahead, press that like button and that subscribe button as well. All right, let's get back under the damn car. That bolt at the top is done. We're just gonna be doing this bolt here. I had to use a small um, extension, the 14 mil socket. And so there's three places where you can go. This is one here where this brace is and the cat is right there. The other one is where your steering rack, where your steering rack is right here. This hole here, as well as the one in front of it. And also just above this control arm here, there's an access port that's just in here. That there is the clutch line and behind the clutch line is where that bolt is. Yeah, you just have to make it work. It just takes time. You just gotta be patient with it. All right, we're almost there. That's one, two, three bolts. And I have three left. All right, I just got a update on how my bumper is going. And it's, oh, dude, look at that. Oh man. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I don't know if I want to show them. Show, show them. Show them. Let's do this. Let's smash this out. Let's finish this off. And it's getting pretty dark. It's like 5 p.m. right now. I said this is going to be my last bolt for today. So I got four bolts off. Um, I did get this bolt right here cracked open. That one literally took like an hour and a half. It's very open. Yeah, you can see it very well but there's no space to get any breaker bar in or anything but i got it i don't know how i got it i had an extension a uni joint and i came from all the way down here in this hole yes that is leaking i need to check that but yeah i just went through this hole here you can see the bolt right there from here and that's how I got it and on the end of this I just got a breaker bar and you see yank the crap out of it that took freaking ages I couldn't find a way to break that loose or get anything in I tried different size extensions I tried so many things it wasn't working for like an hour hour and a half there's no sun anymore it's yeah it's getting dark so i'll probably call it for today i'm pretty happy with the progress that i made today i got four bolts off in about like seven eight hours tomorrow i'm just going to tackle the demon bolts that i have to go through the engine bay to get to oh it's been a long long day let's call it a day all right good morning it is day two I've dedicated all today to try and get the demon bolts off. 
yeah, I am expecting the worst to come out from this. Yeah, just be prepared. There's a car meet for highway noise tomorrow, so I'm going to try to get this done by today. The demon bolt that you have to come through the engine bay through here with a bunch of extensions, a whole bunch of good stuff, as well as on this side as well. Do the driver's side first just because it looks a bit harder just because you got your steering column there. I'll try to show you guys how I'm doing it. It's a bit hard just because it's really tight in there and you can't really see stuff. To be honest, I'm just doing whatever works. Yeah, just trying different methods, different ways to get through, different gaps that I'm finding just randomly. If it works, it works. So I'm just gonna get all my extensions rounded up. Try to get this Frankenstein of a extension mechanism long ass thing. Pretty sure you'll need a uni joint, a long extension and another long extension. I might put another medium sized extension. I'll try to sh show you guys how I'm doing it and yeah. All right, let's get to work. So I made a extension like a three piece with a uni joint and then the socket. Um, this should be enough. And also spray the bolts with like WD-40 or any penetrating spray that will be your best friend. I'm gonna put a big breaker bar onto this and see how we go. Another tip, you might find it easier to tighten it a little bit just to get it moving and then loosen it just so it breaks all like the corrosion and, and stuff in the actual threads. Got it! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Holy crap! I got the first demon bolt. Yes! Yes! That literally took me 10 minutes to do. Oh, I was so happy. So I use a long as breaker bar. If you guys have like a trolley jack, I use the handle for that. That made it so much easier. It didn't snap, it didn't do anything. I'm so happy. Right, so the bolt is all the way up here. Yeah, let's go. I got it. One down, one more to go. This is insane. Oh, I'm loving this so much. All right, got one more to go. It snapped, but it's all right, because I'm gonna go to the shops and get bolts and nuts and stuff like that, so that's fine. As long as it didn't round or anything, I'm fine with that. That took 11 minutes to get the demon bolt off, so 20 minutes to get both demon bolts off. Today's goal has been accomplished. I added another, like, another medium size extension um, just to get that clearance. I need to get back under the car and get the brace off and the rest of the nuts off and bolts. All right, let's get back under the car. All right, so we're back under the car. I did already break these loose. Now it's time for this brace here that just holds um, the cats and the transmission up. As you can see, all this is open. Um, move the cats around. Now it's gonna take off all these Y pipe bolts. And then we'll just try and wiggle these cats out. So yeah, let's finish this off. We're almost done. The cat is out there's nothing here right now i had to loosen up the bolts to the y pipe um to the mid pipe we got one side left and then both cats are out and then it's time to put in the new half flow cats one done two 
done. Yay! Let's go! Man, it's sweaty. I'm sorry for the long ass video, but this takes like two days to do. So yeah, excuse the long video. Hope you guys are still with us. It's about time. Let's start with this side. Chuck all the nuts and bolts and stuff. Let's get these bad boys on. This way. So like that. I'll just put that on the stud and then put the half a cat on the stud as well. Just let it rest on there and get you nut, put it on finger tight onto the stud. Just line everything else up and put the bolt through. And then come through this side and put the bolt through at the top. Uh, the one at the top is really annoying. Uh, I can't see, so I'm just going off by feel. All right, and so what I'm using is actually just a 14 mil spanner and Doing that by hand. Are uh, you gonna use the same extension, conniption, Frankenstein extension that you got the demon bolt off to go through and tighten this bolt? So, yes, yeah, so I, I pretty much put everything back on. I put the brace back on. Now, for the final touch, I need to put the O2 sensors back in. Just making sure I put the right ones back into where they are. Let's go ahead and do that. My GoPro is almost dead. All right, so as you can see, the brace is back on. The Hi-Fi cats are all on. Now, the final thing that I need to do is these O2 sensors. So, last thing that I need to do is reconnect the battery. I'm hoping that I've done everything right. All right, I, I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down right here and then you guys can hear. All right, let's go. finished oh I'm so happy so so happy two days of unbolting finding the right places I'm gonna let the car run for a bit to burn off like all the WD-40 that was sprayed on all in all this install was not the easiest kind of frustrating kind of annoying but I knew what I was getting myself into I went into this expecting the worst. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't too bad. All of that probably would have taken me like 10 hours. That was me filming as well, so if I can do it like that, then you guys can too. It was a big learning experience. Um, there might be a little bit of rattle somewhere. Um, I need to figure out where that is. All right, let's go for a little drive. All right, you guys ready? guys have any questions on the install um, if you guys are having trouble put it in the comments below or just ask me so my exhaust setup is a fast intentions cat bike exhaust with 18 inch resonators with the Nvidia high flow cats you guys know what to do smash that like button and that subscribe button down below if you guys haven't already hope you guys liked it and there's the bumper coming soon very very soon i need to pick that up and yeah it's like a whole new car hope you guys enjoyed it and stay safe i'll see you guys in the next video peace